Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Spectrum this morning. So this week, you had school online, didn't you? How did that go? I know some of you that are homeschooled do stuff online anyway, so that probably wasn't that much different for you, but for those of you that go in person to school, it must have been a little tricky, wasn't it? Well, you got one week done, so good for you. Well, today, I want to let you know who won our draw for telestrations. Remember, this is the game where you have to write things down and you have to draw them and then people have to guess. It's kind of like telephone. Now, you know what? I saw on something this morning that kind of made me panic. It said ages 12 plus. I thought, uh-oh, but I think the reason it says that is because you have to read some words. But you know what? Your moms and dads can help you read it. You guys are smart kids. All Spectrum kids are smart kids, so you'll be able to play it no problem. So the winner of Telestrations is, drum roll, the Brackenridge family. So they won our game. So that's awesome. So I think Brooklyn and Tyler are really going to enjoy playing this. It's lots of fun. All right. Well, guess what? It's time to sing some songs, and it's time to maybe get a little crazy. All right. Let's sing with the band. Good morning, everybody. Let's get ready to sing some songs. Jumping, jumping up and down when you're spinning, spinning round and round. God seeing everything you do. He's watching, watching over you. Hey, God is watching, watching over you. 24/7, watching over you. Your life is in His hands. Whoa, whoa. He's got great big plans. Cause He's watching over you. in the 
everybody let's go up and listen to the message okay who has their bible with them we need our bibles don't we when we watch spectrum and it's good to have a highlighter too because that way we can highlight the verses that we're looking at we always know where to find them so who remembers what were we talking about last week do you remember hmm let's think last week what was it oh i know somebody's prayer was it pastor chris's prayer no was it Pastor Julia's prayer? No. Was it the prayer of St. Francis? No. It was the Lord's prayer, wasn't it? That's what we were looking at, the Lord's prayer. Now, it's found a couple of places in the Bible, but we were looking at one specific gospel where it was. Does anybody remember where we found it? It was found, I'll give you a big hint. It was found in the first book of the New Testament. So when you think of the New Testament, what's the very first book? It's Matthew, right. So the Lord's Prayer is found in Matthew chapter 6. So we're going to turn to Matthew chapter 6, because that's where the Lord's Prayer is. And I want you to try and remember that, okay? So Matthew chapter 6. So let's say together what we learned so far, what we learned last week. So who were we talking about? We were talking about our Father, who art in, where? In heaven, hallowed, or holy, be your name. Your kingdom come your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. That's what we learned last week, wasn't it? You might have to go over that a few times, but that's really, really good to memorize. All right, let's try it again. So our Father who art or who is in heaven, hallowed be your name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And if it helps, you can always make up some um, actions to help you remember the verses. Well, today we're gonna add the part that says, Give us this day our daily bread. And that's found in Matthew 6, and that one's verse 11. So we talked about God being our father and how he's the best father in the whole world, didn't we? And we talked about under hallowed be thy name, how hallowed just means holy. So it's like we're talking to God, we're reminding ourselves he's like our best father ever, and he's holy because hallowed is his name. And then we talked about his kingdom, thy kingdom come and thy will be done. And even this week, I use that to pray for some people. Because sometimes it's hard to know what to pray. We pray, well, do we want this to happen or do we not want this to happen? So the best thing to do is pray God's will be done. And like I said, sometimes when we don't know what to pray, we just need to say, God, I just pray that your will will be done in so-and-so's life. And that's a, a good way to pray. Well, today, like I said, we have give us this day. So give us today, please give us today, although the Bible doesn't say please, but give us this day our daily bread. So what is our daily bread? Our daily bread is just our needs, the things that we need today. So in the morning we say, God, please give us what we need today, those things that we need. Now who knows the difference between needs and wants? You guys learn about this in school, I know you do. And you often have to make up a chart of needs versus wants. So I've got a couple here to show you. So our house. Do you think our house is a need or a want? It's a need, isn't it? Now maybe it's not a need to live in a house just like this. Maybe you live in a trailer or an apartment or maybe you live in a great big house or a little tiny house. doesn't matter what kind of house you live in, but a house is a need. Now this is a want, isn't it? That's some toys. Yeah, toys are a want. Toys are something we really want to have. Do we have to have to have to have toys? No, probably not. But it is a nice want, isn't it? And then what about food? Here's some healthy food. So is food a need or a want? What if we didn't have food? Would we live for very long? No, food and water we need, don't we? So that's definitely a need, but treats, treats are a want, aren't they? We could live without treats. It would be a pretty boring life if we had to live without treats, but we could live without treats. So treats are a want, but food is a need. Well, the Bible says that God will give us all our needs. So anything that we need, that we just have to have and we can't live without, God will look after those. And there's a verse in Philippians 4, 19, which is a great verse and it says, God will meet or supply all your needs according to his riches 
in glory or his glorious riches in Christ Jesus. So that's Philippians 419. That's another good one to highlight. He will look after all your needs. And guess what? He'll look after some of your wants as well. But we know the Bible says he'll look after our needs. Did you know there's a story in the Bible that talks about how Jesus or how God met a whole bunch of people's needs all at the same time? 5,000 of them. Can you imagine? He looked after all their needs at the same time. You watch this video and see if you can figure out whose needs did Jesus meet and how did he meet them. Stories of the Bible. Jesus feeds the 5,000. This is Jesus. hey -o! Who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love. He did many miracles and healed people of their sickness. Oh, hey, everyone. A huge crowd kept following him wherever he went because they saw his miraculous signs as he healed the sick. A crowd started to gather around Jesus. There were 5,000 men and many more women and children. Turning to Philip, he asked, Hey, Philip! Where can we buy bread to feed all these people? You see, Jesus was testing Philip, for he already knew what he was going to do. Um. Philip replied, Even if we worked for months, we wouldn't have enough money to feed them. Hey, I got an idea. Then Andrew spoke up, There's a young boy here with five barley loaves and two fish. But what good is that with this huge crowd? Jesus said, tell everyone to sit down. Bye, everyone, sit down. Then Jesus took the loaves, gave thanks to God, and gave them to the people. Here you go. Afterward, he did the same with the fish, and they all ate as much as they wanted. Want some more? I'm all good, thanks. After everyone was full, Jesus told his disciples, Now gather the leftovers, so that nothing is wasted. You got it! So they picked up the pieces and filled twelve baskets with scraps, left by the people who had eaten from the five barley loaves and two fish. See? God met everybody's needs. He met the needs of 5,000 people at once. They all needed some food, didn't they? Because they were hungry, sitting there listening to him. And God supplied their needs through a miracle. Isn't that amazing? Well, like I said a minute ago, God also wants to supply our wants sometimes. Did you know that? He's kind of like our moms and dads. Our moms and dads will always make sure that we have supper or breakfast or lunch. And sometimes they'll give us treats too. Well, God is the same way. Just like our parents don't give us treats all the time, because it might not be good for us, God might not give us all our wants, but he definitely supplies our needs, and I know he loves us so much that he wants to give us some of our wants as well. I remember a story that teacher Marilyn told me once, that if you see her, I want you to ask her about, because it's a really cool story. And there was one time when teacher Marilyn was really short on food. It was when I think Jessica was just little and they had just moved and they were all by themselves and they didn't have very much money right then and they definitely didn't have any food and she didn't know what she was going to do. Anyway, she really wanted a chocolate bar. If you know teacher Marilyn, she likes her bars. She actually really likes cherry blossoms. Anyway, she really wanted some bars, but she didn't even have any money to get her needs, let alone her wants. So she just prayed and said, God, can you help me? And back then, at that time, I'm not even sure if she was serving God. She might have been, but she knew enough to know that God would help her. So anyway, guess what? She was at a new apartment and hardly anybody knew where she was. And there was a knock at the door and she opened the door and there was somebody there with a big box of groceries. All her needs were met. God looked after her and guess what else? Inside, there were a couple of bars, the kind of bars that Marilyn loves. Can you imagine? See, so God supplied all her needs when she was in a tight time, 
but also her wants as well. So if you see her, you ask her about the story because she can tell it way better than I can and I might have forgotten some parts, but I just remember God loved teacher Marilyn so much that he not only supplied her needs, he supplied some of her wants too. All right, well, let's review one more time. Are you ready? See if you can say it with me. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And that's where we're going to stop because we're going to do the next part next week. So you got that? You keep practicing it over and over because when we get back together in person, I want us to say it all together. All right, I got a wise question for you. Are you ready? The wise question is, God wants to supply our needs, A, all the time, B, some of the time, or C, never. Hmm, who's going to be wise? So God wants to supply our needs, A, all the time, B, some of the time, or, or um, three, never. What would it be? I think I got my numbers and my letters all mixed up there, didn't I? So the, the answers are either all the time, some of the time, or never. Which one would it be? God wants to supply all our needs, right, all the time. You are very wise if you answered that. God wants to supply our needs all the time. Very good. All right, let's pray and then uh, I'll have to say goodbye, but let's pray. Father, I thank you that you want to supply our needs all the time and that you will always look after us. And I thank you. And Lord, I thank you for that reminder, even with the story of Teacher Marilyn, how you want to supply some of our wants too. So Lord, I pray that you'd help the kids to memorize the Lord's Prayer, to get it deep in their hearts, and help us to remember to turn to you every day for everything, because we know that you love us and you're going to supply all our needs. So we just thank you for that today, and I thank you for the kids, and I bless them in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. All right, you guys. Well, don't forget, make sure you're praying every day and you can use the Lord's Prayer. Um, if you're having a little bit of trouble knowing what to pray for, it really helps. All right. See you next week.